Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and we had another one of those big storms. You'll notice on my weather vane the tail is missing. <laughs> That's one of the slight damages that occurred. Actually, we fared pretty well compared to the storm we had last year. So you can see that the corral is, is it's actually morning now, and it's drying out, but uh, last night it was flooded. The parking area was flooded. About 10 o'clock, my grandson was going to stay all night with us, which he did. About 10 o'clock, uh, we started hearing lightning, and <clears throat> um, then I gave him, he wanted, uh, he, he was interested, so I gave him my phone, which has an app on it, so you can track uh, lightning strikes. And so he was watching that, and of course it was it was my bedtime because uh, I go to bed pretty early and get up pretty early. So I had uh, climbed up and got in bed, and the, the uh, trailer was rocking because of the wind. It was you know you could tell the wind was blowing, <clears throat> and it got worse and worse. And pretty soon the lights went out, <laughs> and so uh, that was okay because we have the uh, the lights of the battery in the camper. And uh, that door over there that you see is open. Uh, we were trying to uh, cool the camper down inside before the sun got hot. And then you'll notice, uh, well, pretty soon we'll get there. But the storm was coming from the northeast and uh, it was really rocking the trailer. And it got worse and worse. And, of course, then the rain started and the rain was really heavy. Now, that door there is open to try to... Uh, dry out the inside because the the storm was so strong that it blew uh, blew water uh, under the door and around the the, the edges uh, we had 65 mile an hour winds is what we had and you'll notice the um, the uh, cow pasture across the road is flooded and you'll notice that our road is flooded so anyway, as it got, as the trailer rocked more and more, my grandson got tears in his eyes. He was becoming a little bit fearful of staying all night with grandma and grandpa. And so after the lights went out and the storm got, kept getting worse and the, and the trailer was rocking more and more, uh, I decided, well, last time we had that storm last, uh, last August, and I'll put a link to that one. Uh, my son told us that after that, uh, from now on, when there, when we have another one of those storms, come in the house where uh, with him. And so uh, I got to thinking, well, I got his son here with us, so we better do what he says. But I thought we could just go over to the little addition that he made uh, and uh, and stay in there. So we got uh, everybody ready. And my grandson, as soon as I cracked the door, because the wind was pushing on the door, that's how hard it was. Um, as soon as I cracked the door, uh, he all of a sudden, he, he panicked. He did not want to go outside. But uh, anyway, we, we told him, it, you know, just stick with this and it would be okay. Now, this tree right here, uh, I've ridden by it with my e-bike many times. It may even be in some of my videos. But uh, you'll notice it doesn't have any bark. It's an old tree. And it was a beautiful old tree, but uh, it was dying. And you can see that uh, it's been there long enough that somebody put a swing up. It's kind of dangling over the uh, at the very bottom of the picture there. So, uh, and I remember seeing that swing uh, on that tree. But it was old, and it finally uh, <laughs> gave up the ghost. And so uh, we no longer uh, have a beautiful tree out there. And it's going to take a while to clean that up. So anyway, uh, I, I grabbed my grandson. He had his blanket around him. Uh, he has this large blanket he sleeps with. And uh, so we got out, and I had put on my uh, leather hat to keep my head dry, but the wind blew it off immediately, and I had to chase it. But I took him over to the, to the uh, front door of the, of the addition, and uh, the wind was blowing and the rain was hitting us. And I mean, by the time I got to that front door, I was soaked. Everybody that was behind me was soaked. And uh, <clears throat> so this is further down. You can see our road is uh, flooded all the way down almost. <laughs> anyway, so we got I got over there. And then my son, uh, he had come out of the house and come over to get us. So he hollered for us to go with him. And then he grabbed uh, grabbed my grandson and and uh, took him, and uh, they. I followed them, and they went into the house, and I assumed 
that my wife was behind us. And so I just followed them. And it was so dark and so noisy and windy that uh, I didn't notice that she wasn't behind us. And so we we got over to uh, to the house and got inside. And then um, my son asked me how everything was. And I said, I can't find my wife. So then he goes back out. Now, I want you to notice something as we come up. Somebody was going to build a metal building. You can see the pole sticking up down there by that white tank. And uh, they were going to put uh, uh, steel siding on it. And those are 20-foot pieces of steel siding, which they had stacked up over by the site. But they started blowing away with the wind, and uh, they snagged on uh, on a fence there. And so uh, then most of them got stuck there, but the rest of them kept going. And that's going to be pretty expensive to to replace the poor guy. I feel sorry for him, but that's what happened to us last year with that storm. We had the roof down and... Uh, almost almost finished uh, down on the addition and uh, we had that same kind of a storm and it ripped the roof off and we had to go by uh, we had to we had to have more siding for the roof so that guy's got a lot of uh, work to do and uh, I I feel for him I can understand how how bad he's going to feel so anyway and you'll notice it came clear across the road into the people's house or yard across the road so that's kind of how things were. So anyway, my son, when he found out that my wife wasn't there, well, then he grabbed his flashlight and went out. Well, what she had done is she had hung around in the in the trailer for a minute or so for some reason. Of course, the lights were out, and so she had no light. She didn't have a flashlight. And she came out and uh, ran over to the, to the little addition, and the door was locked because we never went in there. Of course, I had my keys out, but then my son said, follow me. And so we went to the big house, and she got over there, and she couldn't get in. <laughs> so anyway, uh, she remembered that the car was unlocked, so she was soaked and wet, and she sat down in the car. And then finally, now there's another tree that's down. Finally, uh, she got over to the house with us. In the meantime, um, <laughs> uh, the lights didn't come on all night until about 6.45 the next morning, and... Um, uh, somewhere along the line, a tree had roots that went beneath a water line, and so we had no water in the morning, and uh, that that didn't get fixed for a while. But finally, uh, later in the day, everything is uh, it got fixed like it's supposed to, and now we're back to to normal living again. But it was sure a uh, it was sure an unexpected storm, and we're just thankful that. Uh, that you know nothing really serious happened except i lost the tail on my on my weather vane <laughs> so i want to thank you for watching my videos as usual and god bless